hello guys welcome to back my channel mm, today i'm going to show you that how you can add bleeding and trim area in your business card so let's see how we can add bleeding so add in your business card when you use photoshop i i show you in photoshop you can use this method in illustrator so first i want to show you that something standard business card size is 3.75 inch i work with inch so i show you that inch with bleed this is the size with bleed and this is the side without bleed so this is the main size where which one is show in when business card print out then this size will be show and this is bleed area that's for safe i mean this will be cut in when print so this is the working main 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 work place so we're going to show you in photoshop at first we need to click on new and so guys at first i press here a name then you need to hear that so at first we need to size in here inch and press here 3.5 without bleed size and 2 and here 300 and here cm yk 8 bit and then press ok so this is the size main size where we work and here um, we here we don't add the bleed area so we need to add bleed area so please press ctrl r ctrl r and here you will be see a ruler so drag point here and click here and drag it here here <coughs> here and here so after marking all side then we go and click on image and click on canvas size so here in inch inch and here 0 0.25 0 0.25 so mark this and if you want to, to change the color of bleeding area then you can but I th I suggest you to move. I suggest you to um, give. I suggest you to take this color as your background. So click OK, and you see that here bleed option added. So this is the bleed area. You see that we easily add the bleed area in photoshop so here you will be work and this area will be cropped so i hope you find the best way that how you can add bleed area in your <clears throat> in your business card so here one thing that in image search and see that here 3.75 and 2.75 now it's the size with bleeding area we add bleed area so that's that's resize with bleeding area so i hope this video help you to to add bleed area easily in your photoshop 2019 or 2015 i hope this is the best way and i say that don't forget to subscribe my channel 
i will upload more video on graphic design i thinking that and i play planning that i will upload more video in my channel so don't forget to subscribe my channel and thank you for watching this video see you soon